Hey, it's Paul from HowToNetwork.com. So, as you know, over the last uh, 24 hours, things have gone crazy as far as the Cisco certification community is concerned. A lot of people are very upset. A lot of people are panicking. But now, I think this represents probably the best opportunity I've ever seen since I've been working on Cisco equipment and uh, teaching and consulting in Cisco. And that's been since around 2002 when I started working at Cisco TAC. So I'm going to give you a plan that I recommend you follow. You can obviously tweak it to whatever your end goals are. But I reckon if you can just put some work in for the next few months, you're going to get double at least what you put in because uh, Cisco are offering a, um, a deal with the grandfather in the new certifications for some of the old one. And if you play this smart, you're going to get, as I said, at least double what you put in. I'll explain why in a minute. So, uh, as always, uh, if you are checking out books for Cisco certification, CompTIA, then please check out some of my books on uh, Amazon, 101 Labs, or the Simplified Range. A bit about me, uh, and I started knowing nothing, so if you're in the same boat, then welcome aboard. My websites, if you're around uh, looking for training, howtonetwork.com, 101labs.net, and in 60days.com. That's just for CCNA, the last one. Please subscribe, smack the bell if you uh, want updates, because I've got a load more videos to come that are going to help you with your IT career. So, you already know, if you've uh, been listening over the past 24 hours, Cisco are launching the um, a new CCNA, and it's going to replace all of the current CCNA level certifications. So, yeah, we've got, whoops. All of these at the moment so these are all going and they're going to be replaced with just one CCNA certification and this includes the design uh, track which is really strange because um, it's, it's something different altogether so you're going to have a general CCNA level certification and it's going to be called the CCNA implementing and administering Cisco solutions so that will be your certification now you can take the new exam which launches on the 24th of February next year or, and this is what I recommend you do, pass any one of these exams on the left and you're going to be grandfathered in. So all the way through 2020, uh, 21 and the year 2022, and obviously it's, I know it's a long way away, you will be certified in the new track, which is um, a real benefit to you because you can learn all of the new stuff at your leisure or leisure, as they say in America. So what do the next eight months mean for you? Well, I recommend straight away, if you haven't, pass the CCNA exam. You can obviously do the specialization. If you do the specializations, I think they all require you to pass the ICND1, which is the CCENT in routing and switching to give you the base knowledge. So uh, do that or pass uh, just the standard CCNA in routing and switching. That could take you anything between a month or a couple of months. It just depends. Then you will be grandfathered into the new CCNA that I mentioned. Now, so that that's that part. After this, I uh, recommend you spend the next uh, six months after that, which is enough time to pass the CCMP. And I'll show you why in a bit. When you pass the uh, CCMP, which is the uh, route, the switch and the T-shoot, you actually get three certifications for um, passing one, the CCNA routing and switching. You become a CCMP Enterprise, which is the new version of the CCMP. And you'll also get two specialist certifications, which is the Cisco Certified Specialist Enterprise Core and the Cisco Certified Specialist Enterprise Advanced Infrastructure Implementation, which I know is a mouthful. But just think about it. You'll have gone from just doing the work to pass that one certification and then you'll be bumped up, grandfathered in to CCMP which you'll already have, obviously, and then two other high level Cisco certifications. And that's all for the same uh, amount of effort. Now, if you wanted to get this in the future, you'd obviously have to pass the uh, two exams to get the CCMP Enterprise and then other exams for these specializations. It's what they call a no brainer. Now, I'm always wary about salary levels, but these are ballpark figures. If it's your first job, you won't start on 75,000, obviously for CCNA, but you could quickly work your way up, especially as you're passing more exams. 
uh, CCMP salaries is kind of on par with CCIE levels now and CCIE is about to change massively also but I'm not going to talk about that at the moment so this is again ballpark figure depending on your uh, where you where you're working how hard the work is and how technical you are so uh, this is what I experienced when I was doing uh, contracting and uh, freelancing doing Cisco these kind of salaries so definitely achievable and um, obviously that gives us a better quality of life if we have a decent kind of income. Uh, we've got the full CCMP on howtonetwork.com. There's a code uh, I'll give you in a minute. Uh, everything is on there. All of your theory videos, follow along labs, tons of practice exams, a live Cisco rack 24-7 and a forum where we can help you if you get stuck in anything. So uh, that's all I've got to say for now. I hope that's uh, of interest to you. Please do look into it. There's a code here. If you go to howtonetwork.com forward slash YouTube, you'll get access for 30 days and you can um, do all of the certifications I mentioned. Plus there's a load more. Unlimited practice exams and our live Cisco racks uh, will help you on the forum, as I said, and loads of career training. So um, that's all I've got to say for now. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for listening.